Well, we are packed and ready to go. Why does your bacon look like you have more bacon than me? Oh no, you don't because I made sure we had the same amount of bacon and then I ate a piece of bacon from your pile and I ate a piece of bacon from my pile and that evened it out. Except for, shouldn't I get more bacon? No. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where we're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted. to it. Well, it is Monday. No, I don't even know what the date is. November 29th. Okay. That means it is day 28 of the road back. It's Cyber Monday. It is Cyber Monday. Speaking of Cyber Monday, even though you're going to see this long after Cyber Monday. Yeah, but they're back. Keto Chow re-released guava grapefruit and pina colada. So use the link down below. Go ahead and get it. So by the time you see this, that link will give you 10% off of your entire purchase over there at Keto Chow. We are heading out on a five-day camping trip with Caleb, Anthony, and Rachel's mom. I am so stinking excited. I've been looking forward to this trip since the last time we went for a week-long trip last year. Yeah, last year we did a five-day trip with Anthony and Caleb. It was a blast. So we're going to try to make this an annual tradition so long as our boys are willing to hang out with us. Yes, I'm so, so thankful for that. And this time we're doing it a little different. Last time we brought just our RV and everybody crammed into RV, which is really a couple's camper meant for two people and maybe one or two small kids. This time we were actually able to get a second site. Right. Which is, so we're in one site and then there's a site between us and then we have another site and we rented an RV from a place called RV Share, which is kind of like, like an Airbnb, Airbnb for yeah. RVs. It's really cool. I'm going to leave a link for it down below. If you ever want to, you know, like rent an RV, you use that link and you get some money off of, you know, the first time. I think it's like $25 off or something like that. But what's cool about it is there's a lot of different ways. You go down this whole list and pick out what RV you want based on size, how many people, and they, you can either go pick it up from them mm -hmm. and you find something close to where you want to go camping. Right. You can go pick it up for them or most of them for a small fee will actually drop it off, set it up, get you going, and then at the end of it, come pick it back up. And it honestly wasn't that expensive. We got them an RV that sleeps eight people, which right. is realistically four to six people. You know how they say a pool is going to fit eight people and it really fits like four or three. Well, it does have a master bedroom. And then it has, in addition to that, four bunk beds. And then the couch pulls out and all that. But we pay just $90 a night for that. Hello. And I think that, well, first of all, I think you almost have to get the setup. I think that's totally worth it. And for the most part... People may not have like a giant pickup truck to haul a trailer yeah. to, to bring it themselves. So my mom has, you know, a more compact vehicle than us. So it's nice that she can just drive her car, be there, and then they set it up for you. Mm -hmm. And then they also tear it down for you. Yeah. So that's kind of awesome. And, and also it... Are you drinking my coffee? Well, it's not really fair that you get more coffee than me. You've got another whole mug of coffee. Wow, he's about to go on a five-day trip with me, and he is beginning this trip by taking my coffee. It's really good because it's got a tablespoon of butter and a scoop of caramel macchiato in it. But what I was going to say was, it's nice if you're even thinking about getting a camper, make sure you go and actually do some camping because you don't even know if you like camping, right? Mm -hmm. I would hate to have like a huge investment in a camper. Are you eating my bacon again? <laughs> Sheesh. So, All okay. right. Well, Try their RV share. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, this lady actually was completely free to drop it off if you were within 20 miles of her house, and we are, so it's perfect. Anyway, 
we want to be up there by three o'clock, which is when check-in is. So I need to get gas. We are starting off our day with a pound of bacon split between the two of us. Some of us less than others. And I'm going to bring one of these uh, Good Lovin' bars. Good Lovin'. And I'm going to have this in the car to get myself going. For the most part this week, here's the thing. We were in charge of food. Well, don't put two keto bars in charge of food. Because that means pretty much everything that they're getting is meat. I actually asked Caleb, what do you want? Like, I don't mind on this trip. I am so thankful that they want to hang out with us for a week. So I was like, what do you want? And he's like, honestly, I just want to eat like you do. Okay. Well, that's Hello. good. Hello. That made me super happy. Because I've got burgers, sausages, eggs. That's I did get food. them some cheese. I've got a bunch of salami, a uh, couple of steaks. I bought some of that, like the steakum stuff, which is just pure Steak. beef to make like a Philly cheese steak. I got some cheese for them. We've got a bunch of seltzer waters. We will get them some sodas. Um, I did buy them a little bit of snacks, but you know what? They're 21 years old, and if they're willing to hang out with us, fine. You guys can have snacks. We won't show you that stuff because I don't want to trigger anybody. But on, there's no no real vegetables. I did bring... No vegetables. I brought like one head of broccoli only because I had bought it to make Lynette's broccoli salad, mm -hmm. and then we ran out of time, and I don't want the broccoli to go bad. Right. So one day we may try a little bit of broccoli, like scramble it in with some ground beef or something like that. I was going like to that. say, or like cook it in bacon grease. Yeah. Oh, and we have 10 pounds of bacon. That should be just enough. Just enough. We're going to head out the door, and here's what we're going to do with this vlog. We're going to vlog all throughout the week. Probably not going to do any kind of editing or anything like that. Maybe in the evening or something like that. But probably nothing new is going to go up until we get back. But we want to show you guys what do we eat when we go camping on keto. We are here. Let's turn to the sun. There we go. We are here. It took about four hours and like 45 minutes to get here. It was a good stretch of the legs, but we had keto on the couch and we had the keto chow live stream. So it felt like the, the time went like that. Yeah. Now, unfortunately my truck gets like about eight miles to a gallon <laughs> towing the RV. So we generally like to stop for gas when it gets to half tank, which is pretty quickly. Yeah. But I don't want to get into a situation where we hit a bunch of traffic and now all of a sudden we're like, what are we going to do? We're almost out of gas. That's actually it. why I travel with five gallons in the bed in a gas can just in case. Because we had that happen once where we got down to where the computer was saying like, you have 10 miles before you're going to run out of gas. Yeah. And you don't, you just don't want to see that. So this is pretty cool. We're in site 39. And then Rachel's mom and Caleb and Anthony, they're just over that way. Two sites over, they're in site 42. And it's you know, like close enough. Everybody can be together. But yeah. at the same time, when everybody's ready to go to bed, they can kind of go Good off night. their own way. Yeah. And we rented an RV from a place called RV Share. We got here. The lady was in the middle of setting up. And we went to say hello. And gone. she was gone. But it was Did really cool. Boo. She dropped it off, hooked it up, turned on the air conditioning. $90 a night, they're in a great, and it's a huge camper. It is a huge camper, and they have bunk beds, but it's not like coffins. No, there's four bunk beds, but they're like on top of each other, and not, a lot of times in these like bunk bed ones, they're like in a back corner, and you get really claustrophobic climbing in there. And if you are even considering getting a trailer, I think that you should spend the night in the layout that you like yeah. because you think in your mind, well, this is how this is going to work. Yep. Then you get into it and it's too late. Yeah. So it's better for you to check it ahead of time. I'll leave a link for RV share down below. If you use that link, you save, I think like $25 off of your first rental, but we're going to finish unpacking everything. Anthony's already dying to start a fire. Yeah. I know that. And we're going to figure out what we're going to eat for dinner. Probably burgers. Good morning. Good morning. It is 35 degrees outside. I don't think we're going in the water. I don't know if we're going swimming. <laughs> <laughs> I think kayaking, but I don't know about paddle boarding. Our boys will probably go. I don't know if I will. I'm too much of a wuss. That is cold. Wake up. Step into the world outside. The future never looks so bright. Can't you hear it calling us? Let go, leave all of your cares behind You never know where you might find Sunny days are coming up Dreaming of tomorrow, soaking up the sun We can sit and talk about it Oh, we could run away, 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 away We don't have to stay, we could run away Away, 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 away Oh, we could run away, run away 
Let's go Dive into the deep blue sky Come with me to paradise Can't you hear it calling us? bunch of work that had to get done today because of deals with Cyber Monday and you know trying to move our website and everything so Rachel the boys and her mom went up to go kayaking and I stayed back here to work and they called me and they said they're on their way back so I'm getting ready to make a lunch but I wanted to show you guys I had to run to Walmart to get a couple of things and I picked up some stuff for some family edition keto camping fear factor I got a can of tiny shrimp sardines in hot sauce, turkey spam, and hot dog chili sauce. They have no idea that I got this stuff. So it'll be interesting when we do this Fear Factor. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel. You hit that bell button so that you are notified when that video goes live. Hey, Miss Food Vlogger. Yes. We forgot to tell everybody what you were eating. We are the worst at this. Cause I done edit now, it's done. <laughs> Um, but we had hamburgers, giant hamburgers. They were really good. And Joe topped them with this Skyline chili, which is not something that we normally eat. And I was a little bit hesitant. I thought, well, this can't be keto, but it's great. So the total carbs for, for a cup, and we only had two spoonfuls a piece on it, was uh, four total carbs. There's 23 grams of protein, 15 grams of fat. Um, let's see. And there's, there's no added sugars or anything. One dietary fiber. Um, the ingredients are beef, water, tomato sauce, which is just water and tomato paste, dried yeast, spices, salt, dehydrated onion, garlic, paprika, and natural flavors. Now I'm going to tell you one of the spices in here has to be cinnamon because I really tasted cinnamon in this, but it was, it was delicious. Is this my first advent? calendar present this is definitely got to be more than five dollars it was actually twenty dollars but i got it at a like side of the road farm stand the Aww. guy hand makes them how fun and i thought it was really cool it's just made out of local wood and it looks like it's got a lot of character to it and i figured yeah. it'd go good, good hanging like right out in front of your window i was gonna say we'll put it on the tree outside of my she shed and hopefully it will only attract a bird this big and not a giant iguana. I have no business videotaping anything with my hair looking the way it is. Mmm. <laughs> What'd you put in that? Pistachio creamy, pistachio mm. keto chow made with four tablespoons of butter. Actually, it's three tablespoons of butter. Mm -hmm. And then I did a mix in. A half of Anthony's favorite thing. The Nola. The peanut Nola bars. Anthony loves these things. He says they taste just like a payday. They really do taste like a payday. But I only used a half of one, so I still have a half left. Thank you, Rachel. It is so oh. cold. We are on round 786 of phase 10. Thanks to Chris and Miriam for introducing us to this game. We still really love it. We may not be married when this game is over. Well, and, and I think all of our family members will have abandoned us by that point. <laughs> and the death. <laughs> like my hat. <laughs> it's really cold. I don't believe we're in Florida right now. It's actually well, colder was, right now than when we were in Vegas. I have like reindeer nose Seven. right now. I would ah! get Our family is way too Very competitive for I any game. I can't even watch. This is something that you do not often see in the Stauffer household, and that is a heater <laughs> that is on. Good morning. Good morning. I was thinking as we were like laying in bed when we were praying and stuff that one of the reasons that I love coming camping and I'm excited that like things are slowing down so we can get back into our every other week camping is 
this is the only time we sleep past like 6 30 in the morning that is very There's true no alarms i think it's like eight o'clock right now and to just be getting up and you know i mean we don't get this opportunity very often and i know your mom was like hey you know i get up at six o'clock and we're like and we're not <laughs> you know right because it just this is my whole idea of just being able to relax and it's nice to not have to worry about you know, oh my gosh, I got to be here or I got to be there. That's why I'm making all of the appointments and, and, you know, scheduling for like going over to Devil's Den today. It's like noon. This way I don't have to be rushed. Yeah. Well, speaking of Devil's Den, I have something for you, Art. It's the first day of the advent calendar. And in typical Joe fashion, he gave me mine on November 30th. So I got that beautiful bird cage. Also, I'm enjoying, can we just say I love the view <laughs> like, I just love seeing all of the the beautiful flowers and stuff just right outside of our window. But these campsites are really nice. Because this, this, we're at Rainbow Springs State Park in Florida, and they actually have three campground loops. And I think this is the nicest one because there's a bunch of foliage between every RV. The one that we were originally scheduled in, you were just out in the open. Right. So we're in site 39, mom's in site 41, and I think both of those are really nice. Okay. So I want my present. Yes. Yeah, so present. it's the first day of, of our advent calendar, and I think I didn't plan this to be this day, but I think you can use this today. Uh, it's, a mask. it's a mask. And we're going snorkeling. <laughs> Which is pretty awesome. And I mean, we have some masks, but making sure that everybody has enough right. is the challenge. So I don't know. I feel like this will, will, will take the edge off of like worry that, okay, does everybody have a mask? Because everybody wants to look at the beautiful fish and stuff. Okay, time to go start the bacon. Well, good morning. Even though we already said good morning. Time to make some breakfast. Guess what we're starting with? Delicious bacon. Look at all that bacon on this Blackstone. So we got a pound of bacon here, and then we're going to also make some eggs, and I don't know what else. So we have our bacon here, got a whole pound of it, but you know what? I feel like this is a two-pound day, so I'm going to make a second package of bacon, because four or five pieces, just not enough for me. So we're having some eggs, protein-sparing bread toasted on the Blackstone, some frying cheese, and a whole lot of bacon. Again? Mmm. <laughs> Caught. So I've made mine into a little open face sandwich because the eggs are a little bit runny, but it's okay if you have toast on the bottom. So I dropped one of my eggs on the ground. Rachel's like, you want me to make you another egg? I'm like, no, I don't need one. I just have a giant plate of bacon <laughs> instead. And here's the thing. Boys are still sleeping. Yes, you snooze, you lose. You snooze, so you lose. They may get one piece of bacon. By the way, I was thinking as I was cooking all of this bacon... I was like, I didn't ask anybody if they want soggy bacon or crispy bacon, but here's the thing. I'm the cook. This is not Burger King where you can have it your way. So you get it the way I cook it, the way I want to eat it, and then either you eat it or you suffer. So we are going snorkeling at an ancient underwater spring. It's called the, the Devil's, Devil's Den. Den. <laughs> so they have lots of cool things here. I, actually, we saw on the way in that they actually have RV spots. So, so we're gonna check it out, like how much it is and stuff. Because they also have cabins and stuff, so this would be a great place to come with the family, whereas we could have our RV and everybody else can go into a cabin. The only thing is, if you're gonna come here to snorkel, you have to register on their website ahead of time. We are heading underground to an ancient spring. This water is actually warmer than the air temperature right, right. Now. It's refreshing. It's not like warm like when we go to the Keys, but it's not like ice cold when we were in that already. river out in Utah. So it's not too bad. This setting though is so stinking gorgeous. This is amazing. Now, are you ready to get to take the scuba diving course? I don't know about all that. Well, we're going to. Maybe, Merry Christmas. Maybe here would be a good place to practice.
The one thing that I was not expecting was all of the frogs on the outside rim riding the rock wall. Joe will be getting footage of those because I will not be going near the wall now. The water is so crystal clear, it's really deceiving. So when you're up here on the top and you're just kind of looking down through the water, you uh, think that, oh, it's not that far, it's not that deep, but it is very deep. And then when you're trying to come back up after going down towards the bottom, you're like, oh, I'm almost there, I'm almost there, I'm almost there. And you actually have a long way to go. We're chilling, Anthony are just beasts walking through the woods completely barefoot. We're grounding. I never wore shoes as a kid, so yeah, I could like walk on hot asphalt and not feel a thing. So they have tent camping and RVing here. I don't know if I want a tent in this site though, because like, look who's actually posted in your site. <laughs> Did you know that you can raise a koi fish yourself? All you need is a regular goldfish. A goldfish will grow to the size of its tank. So if you give it enough space and enough time, I mean, these are probably 20 year old goldfish. I brought a little snack. Let's you go did? ahead and try this. We have not tried this we one. We haven't tried, this one is the chocolate dipped strawberry, which I think would be my favorite just cause. Strawberry and chocolate. I'm the chocolate, like I love the one from what uh keto keto bar bar that's like the, the, the one that keto connect developed that one was my favorite okay let's try this i'm getting a good piece too and again what's so good about look at all that stuff inside it smells very strawberry this is not sponsor or anything we don't make any money off no, of them we but just like we just stuff. really love these things especially because super clean ingredients oh i didn't say what was in it and th and this one here i don't even believe it has sugar alcohols organic cocoa butter organic coconut butter organic almond butter organic pea protein organic chocolate organic almonds organic pecans organic pepitas organic strawberries organic coconut organic vanilla extract sea salt and organic monk fruit yeah so it doesn't even have any sugar alcohols and it's like was it 10 total carbs it's got 280 calories 20 24 grams of fat, nine grams of protein, nine total Nine total carbs. carbs for a chocolate strawberry. Five grams of fiber, which I feel pretty comfortable if you want to deduct it. Yeah, because it, it's but, just like your nuts and that kind of stuff. But nine total carbs I'm good with. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Mmm. Oh, wow, yeah. It messes with you though because the chocolate's on the inside and the strawberry's on the outside instead mm -hmm. of like strawberry dip, like chocolate dipped strawberries. Those are really good. It's like strawberry dipped chocolate. Mm hmm. That's good. But you taste a lot of the nut butter. Yeah. So if you're not into nuts, you have to know that this is like a, it, it tastes like, um, like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with a lot of strawberry jelly. These are really good. I'll leave a link for them down below. Again, we're not sponsored or anything like that. But we just really, really, really like these. Nine total carbs. That's pretty awesome. And they're very, very filling. And we get to bring them on a trip. Quack, quack. Aren't they cute? Look at this. You get to be Mario. One of my favorite smells, fresh cut grass. And you know when it smells the best? When I didn't have to cut it. It is so cool seeing the boys using the standing paddleboard for the first time. Now I took my mom up. She's still working on getting up and just feeling, you know, confident standing up. It's a little bit challenging. She did it, but it was, it was not her favorite thing. So we're going to practice it more tomorrow um, because it's kind of cold and that, and like she's shivering and that's making it worse. But um, this is so fun and there's so much beautiful water and you feel really confident because the, the springs are completely clear and beautiful. So you're not afraid of what's below you. Uh, oh, oh, uh, oh, 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 locks. It's a kind of fish. Locks and, and, and cream cheese. Salmon. 
No. Fudge. Our family should never be playing games together. No, we're very competitive. And then now we're playing catchphrase. And so there's an element of like fast, like so you have to do it fast and you have to convey and like, we're so like, if, if you think you're so my partner, I'll you win. have to win. The kids were like, hey, you know, what's the score? And Nanny's like, we don't need to know the score. I'm like, yes, so we need to know the yeah, score. Yeah, super competitive. Dude, you can't say okay. gluten. <laughs> no, that's your fault. <laughs> that's your fault. Okay. He, he would have gotten it. Okay, um, and chives, potato chips, sour cream. That's it. Monkey like banana. <laughs> oh, this is. It's. It's. <laughs> made, it comes from a cat. <laughs> no. And, and this is. It's a it's it's not cake, it's pie. All right, and it's a type of one you like, not blueberry. It's one that we would it's a nut one. Oh, oh pecan pie. That's it. Oh my gosh. I'll take the L. Okay, this type of cheese goes on pizza, people like it. Mozzarella. Breakfast in bed. Ooh. Good morning. Good morning to you. It Look at is this. Thursday, so I made you some breakfast in bed. That's the ice maker going off. And I showed it before I ate it. So we have two eggs. Yes. And then I have some bacon on the stove if you want some bacon. Yeah, but I really wanted some sausage this morning. So these are the jalapeno and cheddar sausages from Sam's Club. We get them all the time. We've showed them before. They're made by their members mark ones. Super clean ingredients, and the jalapeno and cheddar ones are just really, really tasty. My favorite thing to do is split them like this and cook them on the Blackstone. What is your favorite way to eat sausage? And oh, if you don't have a Blackstone, cut it in half just like that, stick it in an air fryer. It gets like really crunchy. Perfect. Uh, we're also having a slice of the Maria Emmerich bread. And uh, we're going to be making a video on how we've been making it because it's much softer and a much better crust. It is. Look at that. And then I'm toasting it on the Blackstone in the bacon grease. Mm. So it gets like a great flavor. So you're saying we sharing your breakfast, but guess what we forgot to share? What? Dinner last night. <laughs> so yesterday we got back from the Devil's Den, which was really cool. But I wish they changed the name. name. But we went, we did that, and then we inflated the paddle boards. Rachel was teaching her mom how to paddle board. Anthony loved it. Caleb, Caleb was like, yeah, it's okay. He picked it up quick, He though. picked it up quickly, and, well, I think that they're all trying to decide, is this better than a kayak? Right. If you've never it's different. done it before. And they're trying to, and I said, I think that it's a lot less strenuous, honestly, because you get up at a good clip, and then to maintain it, is a lot easier, I think, in a standing paddleboard. So at first, Anthony was like, I don't think so. And then once he did it for an extended period of time, because we actually paddleboarded all the way up to the head spring, which was about like a 45 minute paddle. Mm -hmm. And then he was like, okay, yeah, now I compare the two. Yeah. I really like it. Plus, I love the standing paddleboard. Even if you want to sit down, you have so much more real estate on that board, right? That you could just kind of sprawl out. So we got back from doing that, and then uh, I actually went and talked to Ranger. We said, we want to go tubing. And she said, well, the tubing is closed right now. I'm not quite sure why, if it's because of COVID or, or another reason. So she said, now you can get in the spring here, and then there's about a four-hour float down to a bridge. But she's like, you got to have a second car, which we absolutely do, where you have to go drop off your car first. Because then when you get there, you drive back. So that's the plan for today. But for dinner last night, I bought at, I want to say it was Sam's Club. It was like packs of like, you we used to call them steakum. Right, right? shaved it's just, beef. It's like the shaved beef for um, like Philly cheesesteaks. We threw those on the Blackstone. I had a pound of ground sausage, like just pork sausage. It was like a sage sausage. Put that on there. A little bit of peppers and onions. So... I'm feeling okay today. We had peppers and onions with steak, and I'm feeling pretty good. And onions, it, it comes down to how many do I have. If I eat too many, I get bloated. But we only had we had a half an onion between everybody. That was that's kind of my sentiment about it. It's like I am learning that whatever like the superfluous, like flavor adding but not necessary foods in my in my diet, like I need to have just 
small amounts. Yeah. Let them do what they are designed to do, which is season and, and onion season, pepper season. But like if I eat a whole plate full and I can, they're mm -hmm. delicious going down. I get some pyrotechnics yeah. going on. And then after we were done eating, uh, we just sat around the campfire till about 11 o'clock last night. My arm's getting tired. Catchphrase. And played catchphrase. And it was just a blast. Except for the fact that our family is super competitive. Yeah. And then you start nitpicking the rules. Well, wait, 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 wait. That's not the rule. Yep. And, you know, and if, it's just, we had a great time. So we're going to eat. And then we're going to do a four-hour tubing run. And then I'm really hoping we have some light when we get back for Keto Camping Fear Factor Family Edition. But when I hear, like, the my favorite sentence is, like, we're going to go on a four-hour float. So we are walking down to the spring. Yes. Or the river, right? This is the laziest of lazy days. We've already parked our vehicle at the end of where we want to get out so that there will not be any walking back. <laughs> it will just be floating and then driving home. So this is not like when we went on the Provo River in Utah. Right, This yeah. is This is a very lazy river. This is a lazy river. It's gonna be, take about four and a half hours to get to the other end. Doesn't mean that we're lazy. Hey, we're just riding the river. You know, it's the river's laziness, not ours. Here, let's come over this way for a second. So, because of the glare. So yeah, it was cool because the ranger came up to us and said, hey, you know, uh, just letting you know, all of the water in the park is out. We're going to turn it off. So if you'd like to explore the springs, today would be Today's a great the day. day. The good news for us is I keep our fresh water tank full when we're camping and then start going off of it. So we have about a half a like tank in our fresh tank. So we have about 20 gallons of water. So and I'm good. We have a Berkey. Yeah. So that's all our filtered water. On a side note. Yes. I'm on a camping trip. I'm on vacation. Yes. I'm enjoying all the cheese. Oh my gosh. You know all what? All the cheese. I am enjoying this camping trip, so I am enjoying no cheese because <laughs> I don't want to take a chance that I will feel wonky. It's not that I won't have cheese again. It's just that we've only got this week with our kids. I do not want to spend it on the toilet. Well, my thing is, is I won't spend it on the toilet because it's going to stop me up. <laughs> Too much TMI, I guess. No, but here's the thing. I, I'm being good with the cheese. I bought one pound of Swiss cheese. Okay. And I've eaten like two or three slices a day, which for some people may sound a, like a lot, but for me- It's a major cutback. I would eat that entire pound in a day on normal occasions. Well, so I'm being good and I've got some pieces of like, spicy salami that we got from Aldi. So here's the thing, it's December and you are keeping it keto. That's right. Are you ready to get in the water? Yes, and we don't have to walk far. The entrance is right there. Well, take a look at that sign there. I was talking to somebody that was paddleboarding yesterday and he paddleboards every single day for the past five years he's been doing this with his doggy. And he said one out of every 10 times he sees an alligator and the alligator never wants to even bother with him. Now I do love paddle boarding, do not get me wrong, but you know what I love even more than paddle boarding? Floating. I love me some floating. <laughs> This is so relaxing. I cannot express how nice it is to just sit and float. And you can't get there any faster. I mean, you can like flap your arms as fast as possible, but you just gonna have to sit and wait it out. And I kind of love that. I don't know if you can see in the video, but there's a gator right there on the edge. Now they usually just go out on the wow. banks and, and sun themselves. They have no interest in us. They're afraid of us, unless you go someplace where they're being fed by humans. There's my otter. I wanted to see one. 
Boy, he's hoofing it. I really wanted to see an otter while we were out here, so I'm like super excited. There's my otter. So it is very deceiving when you look at the bottom here and you're just looking from the top here and you're like, oh, that's not very deep. That looks like it's only three or four feet, but it's really not. It's 10, 12, 15 feet in some of these areas. It's very deceiving. And that's why they use the spring so much when they filmed different movies and t television shows, even down in Silver and Springs, because it looks like, oh, that, that'd be an easy swim. But I mean, you've got plenty of room. It's just, it's deceiving because you're seeing so much. Really? <laughs> Always. It's the real us. We don't want to see this. Are you ready to go home? I'm not ready to take a shower, which is what is between here and home because it is freezing outside. I think this is the coldest morning. I, I don't know. Alexa, what's the temperature in Denellen, Florida? Right now, in Denellen, Florida, it's 46 degrees Fahrenheit. 46 Today, degrees. Expect a high of 76 degrees. It's supposed yeah, to be thanks hot. a lot. Well, it's supposed to, yeah, 76 degrees, but later. We'll be gone. <laughs> so, yeah, we, this has been such a great week. We had so much fun. Played with the kids again last night. We were playing catchphrase. That's a great one for the holidays. Uh, dinner we didn't film, but it was pretty simple. We just made up burgers and, and, hot, and dogs. hot dogs. Yeah. And then everybody wanted the chili sauce left over from Fear Factor. Who would have thought? And your mom made all the turkey spam or the oven she, roasted turkey she spam. She actually liked the spam. So, yeah. So, we are going to... I got to pack up our chairs. Most of the packing up got done last night. Rachel's mom and Caleb left at 5.30 this morning because Caleb has a college exam. I just was so thankful that the boys and my mom worked around, like worked out their schedules. Yeah. So that we could do this as a family because that's huge. And because what we were supposed to end up having to do because Caleb had exams was he was going to have to go home on Thursday. Rachel was going to drive him home on Thursday and then drive all the way back up. That's four and a half hours in each direction. But he didn't want to miss the beginning of the week. And yeah. we're like, well, whatever we can get. And then at the last minute, his professor, like, rescheduled the exam for next week. He's You're like, getting hey, a Christmas present. Now we get the whole week. So I'm going to finish packing up. You're going to get in the shower. Yes. And then we have to drive to Bradenton, Florida. It's about a two-hour drive from here to pick up Bessie. Is that the... We have a chicken named Bessie. You can't name it Bessie. So, Elsie? Oh, we stopped at a gas station and I got four boiled eggs, which I'm putting mustard on because I like mustard on my boiled eggs. And then we got a couple of these like hot dogs off the griller thing, but they're like a jalapeno one and it's Not really good. Not super clean ingredients, but for on the road, I'll take it. It's really, really good. And um, of course I got a cup of coffee and we had butter in the camper and some keto chow, so delicious coffee. So we are home and we had an amazing trip. So much fun with the family, but today was a long travel day. We had about a three hour drive from the campground to the place where we were picking up our beef. It's a ranch called The Dam Ranch in Bradenton, Florida. I'll leave a link for it down below. And we're gonna have a whole separate video on our experience for buying um, fresh beef. Uh, that'll be coming in another video, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you hit that bell notification button so that you're notified when that video goes live. After we picked up our beef, we had about another four hour drive home when you added in pit stops for going to the restroom and gas. So it's after five o'clock and it's just been a long day, so we're going to kind of relax for the rest of the day. Uh, I cooked up a little bit of dinner. It's mostly leftovers from the camping trip. We have a bunch of bacon. We're each having one of those cheddar jalapeno sausages from Sam's Club. We get them all the time. We really, really like them. We're also having one of those cheddar jalapeno burgers from Sam's Club. 
And then over here we have a piece of the Maria Emmerich bread with a little bit of butter and some cranberry sauce on it, our homemade cranberry sauce from Thanksgiving. We may have a creamy ice cream depending on how we feel, you know, after we're done. But right now we're gonna go relax, we're gonna watch a movie, and then tomorrow we'll come back and close out this vacation vlog. Good morning. Good morning. Why is our vacation over already? I know, but my heart is so full. I cannot <laughs> believe we were privileged enough to go on a trip with my mom and with two out of our three boys. We missed John Paul and Michelle, but like I can't believe we got the other two. Yeah, it, it really was a great trip. I did miss John Paul and Michelle, but... Adding Anthony and Caleb and Rachel's mom was a last minute decision. Honestly, I was I was wanted them to go as well, but we didn't give enough notice. We came up with this idea of of bringing everybody along about a month before the trip because we had our spot picked out for like six months. We had it reserved and everything, and then when we were at Curry Hammock, I had said to Rachel like, "Hey." Let's try to do another family trip because that was my Christmas present last year. Last year, I told all the boys that my Christmas present, mommy wants a family camping trip. So it was really a trip for her. It was her. It was a bowling ball gift. It was, uh, here, it, it, this is kind of weird, right? It was their Christmas present to me, which was my Christmas present to you. I, I re-gifted my gift. You re-gifted. Right? But I, I'm going to tell you right now, I had so much fun. I did miss John Paul and Michelle. And so my plan is to right now, because some of these state parks are hard to get, you know, like campsites for some of them, we can usually get them within two weeks because I have end ways around the rules and, and ways to search for things. But if you want to get two spots like next to each other That's tough. or close to each other, that could be tough. So I'm going to start looking for where do we want to go camping next year? And I'm going to find two spots. And then even if I have to find three spots, so you know, the, the married couple has their own spot. Which I know, that's awesome. And then, you know, we have a spot, and then the boys have another spot. And tell them, this is what we want for Christmas again next year, because I love having these family trips. And it's something we didn't get into this type of camping until last year, really. Right. You know, we did 10 camping when they were little. But this is like a whole nother level. And I know for years we've made fun of level. glamping. But it really is a great way to get out there, to be in nature, to have everybody disconnected. Even yeah. though we did have Wi-Fi and people, we checked our emails and stuff like that. It wasn't great Wi-Fi. There, there wasn't the play on video games for hours or or go sit down on my computer and work for hours. It, it was a disconnection with family time, sitting around the campfire for hours. It, it was just we needed it. such a good time. And the only thing is, is that now I'm home and we have a lot of work to do. We do. But uh, we need to end this vlog. And we'll start another one. I have, well, we'll open one here and we're going to start the other vlog. So this is yesterday's gift. Yes, right. Because this is the fourth. So this is our advent calendar gift for each other for, for the, the third. third. All right. Okay. Let's see what we got. Don't use your teeth. Some of my favorite. This is smell good stuff. What does this smell like? What is this? Ooh, pink vanilla wish body cream. Jolly. What it's, is this? It's for drying uh, dishes. Oh. Oh, so I can re-gift this to Caleb. No. <laughs> Actually, well, because I meant for us to exchange it in the RV. Oh, because okay. it's kind of challenging to find a place to dry the dishes yeah. in the RV. Ooh, this smells so good. It's funny. As long as it's not a, a, a fancy towel to hang on the stove. And we were listening to a YouTuber yesterday. I want to say it's Aaron Does the Things. Plus, you have to say the word here. Oh, it's a Cuisinart. Oh, that's not always how you say it. So, we were this listening. It's Cuisinart sometimes. That's that Because that's how my mom grew up saying it. But I know the right way to say it now. But when you know better, you do better. Well, I didn't know, but when I was growing up, my mom called them coos and art. I like it when you say it better. So we were watching this YouTuber and she's talking about like decorating and you have mm. to have the fancy Christmas hand towel hanging over the stove, but not in this house. Never go buy the fancy towels of anything 
because in our kitchen, any towel that is anywhere in the kitchen, whether it's on the counter, hanging on there, hanging off of the handle of the refrigerator, is fair game for somebody to use to wipe down the counters. Am I wrong? You're not wrong. And I don't like that because they're gorgeous and then they may get quickly ruined. Well, I don't spend a lot of money on stuff because I was listening to and it was it was a, an expensive purchase. Right. I'm I'm El Cheapo, so don't worry if you happen to already have something in a future <laughs> advent day that is a hand towel. Maybe. Well, it's funny because I've bought you like lots of them and oh, that's so pretty. Look at that. And then I put it out there and I say, this is not for dirtying, for cleaning dishes. It. This is not for on top of the counter. And then one of us will grab it to wipe up the spill. And now it's, it's no made longer a to pretty be towel. Used. That's right. Made to be used. Let's end this vlog and then we can start our new one. Okay. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we go on a family trip, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.